all right everybody how's everybody doing i hope everybody's doing fine um today we're gonna be talking uh, we're gonna be gonna be gonna be gonna be <laughs> we're gonna talk uh, about a build that i'm currently working on like i said i started the game actually yesterday and it's very close to elemental dungeons it just takes a little bit of time for me to you know just get into it and uh just understand how the builds uh, the the stat system works and everything so i think it will uh take a few more videos to you know just get me fully going but right Right now, uh, I am almost on level 30, which I believe is not really much. You can see people going like 67 there and stuff. So uh, for me, it will uh, definitely still take a little bit more time uh, to know everything about the game. But I'm going to soon release a beginner video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Hawkeye build, um, which is actually pushing me through most of the content right now. I can actually almost do everything. There's a little bit of, um, you know, stuff that I need to get. Uh, equipment wise you can see this stuff is not leveled and you know and so on there's a lot of stuff that I still need to be doing to actually you know go a little bit more crazy into this but now let me actually just uh, level this guy up because um, you can only draw these guys up until you're level 30 as far as I believe when you're 30 you can draw these like uh, draw these guys right now I actually I don't know how I got it I think it was through the group uh, joining the group or something um, but now I leveled him up a little bit and I'm just gonna show you my skills show you what I have the fruit that I'm using is the love fruit it is level one I don't know uh, I think you need to require you need uh, level one to actually get it I have the sweet wind and the hard shot uh, unlocked cupid zone at level 40 actually uh, which is still uh, a long way to go but other than that man uh, yeah, let's actually go where's the let me just quickly uh, go in here uh, where is this skill um, wait a second I, I I am a little bit confused still where <laughs> where do I find my skills again like, it's crazy this game oh wait now I know yeah it's down here okay so let's talk about the skills I am going very hybrid to be honest I this is usually not a good way of doing it but as of now it actually pushes me to where I need to be in the game and I can actually finish all of it so you could potentially copy it but I think if I'm you I would still wait a little bit until I'm releasing actually a better like full understanding guide because right now there is no fruit power in it so it might actually be on critical uh, or on attack I don't know which one it is uh, maybe it, what I thought was it's a mixture of both and um, you know if you have attack in there and critical usually very strong with bows especially in RP RPGs. So if this is lean towards RPGs, uh, this might be something that goes for uh, on for. But for now, for the now sake, uh, I'm gonna do it the way you can see it right now. Uh, let's just quickly do uh, easy mode. I'm gonna do maybe normal mode. I'm just gonna quickly show you um, how this looks and how I actually play it. Uh, like I said, this is my first 24 hours basically. Actually, it's my first five hours of playing this game So I'm not really deep into it yet But once I actually set my mind to a game and I loved uh, elemental dungeons uh, This is definitely something that will uh, show you guys. That's really good. The good thing about this is that you do have um you do have uh, distance management uh, with the fruit that I'm using, which is the love fruit. It is the, I don't know if it's mythical. I think it's mythical, honestly. I think it's mythical. Um, it's like a 0.25% of getting as far as I believe, but you get them much faster. Uh, I, I, I got like so many legendaries, so yeah, I don't know. It just was pretty simple to get. I didn't think it was really that hard um, to get it, but yeah, whatever. Everybody has their different um, experiences when drawing. I mean, this is a luck thing, right? This is why I love these games because everything is like based on luck so not everybody has everything you know so uh, yeah that's what I've been doing the good thing about this is though that if you actually go into your equipment tab you can press let me show you this you can press equip best and it just uh, gives you the best that you need uh, to go on further that so that's really nice that's a nice feature that this game has I mean most of the Roblox games have it but you can see uh, just damage wise I think I'm doing all right it's not it's not too bad uh, I'm actually interested once I get into uh, the other one, the, the defend mode, I think it's with level 30 as, as far as I believe, um, to see how far I can get and how much you can actually farm. Um, you also, as you can see here, get some uh, interesting loot drop uh, along the way. Uh, you also have some money dungeons that you can go into uh, and actually farm some stuff. You can farm your, uh, like you can uh, farm pets with other games. Uh, you have the possibilities to do that as well. So that's really nice. This game has uh, a nice mixture of drawing uh, items 
which you can do, uh, and you can also farm them, so that's very nice. So this is how I do the, 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 the hawk eyeing, you know, I always stay on distance, I usually almost never lose very much HP, uh, that's the best thing that you can do with the love fruit thingy, uh, you just be on distance, and you can see the damage is not too bad, you can see it stacking up on the top right here, so, uh, you know, I already did, uh, 151,000 damage, I don't know what the T stands for currently, I don't know, maybe taken, uh, the damage that I've taken, uh, might be that, so, yeah, that could definitely, yeah, I think that's definitely what it is, um, and, uh, yeah, this, this is a nice fruit, honestly, this is a cool fruit, um, it does a lot of damage, and the good thing is you can mostly, uh, if you know the rotation of the bosses, you can mostly stay on range and uh, basically just relax. It's actually not that hard. Do a few jumps. Uh, you can dash with Q. I don't know what it is on mobile. Maybe there's a button on your screen so you can dash. But um, I don't recommend this on mobile players if you're a mobile player uh, because it just feels like you need a mouse for it. But uh, So let's help this guy out here a little bit. Uh, there we go. Oh my god, that was a beautiful, beautiful burst damage attack using both skills here. So... Um, I did use light, which got me to where I am right now, um, and then I just recently got this. Uh, but light was pretty good as well, so you can either stick on to uh, light. I also got ice, I haven't tried ice, um, but in general I think uh, using using the love or ice is probably the best way to, you know, to go with, uh, with early game. I'm just gonna call this early game. I don't know how deep this game is and how deep this will get, um, but I can tell you that I'm definitely gonna stick with this and I will be making more videos uh, like a whole guide uh, and video gameplay series I did with Elemental Dungeons so you can definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be completely honest, I am not 100% fully prepared right now just because I just started out playing the game, but I wanted to have like a like a starter, you know, to get this to get the series going a little bit, um, telling you how much I understand of the game. It's actually fair, fairly not difficult to understand. Uh, the only thing that's a little bit difficult uh, is gonna be the stats and what kind of stats you wanna do and what items you wanna roll with but the, the items they are very similar we're, we're just gonna we're gonna graze over the items we're gonna check them out in just a second uh, for a short while uh, to check them out after this fight here it's gonna be done very fast as you can see um, leveling is actually not that hard either and let's go over the items here real quick uh, so if we're gonna go into the equipment um, it does look overwhelming a little bit if you uh you know, check all of them out, but in the end, basically, it's just, you know, it has critical, it has attack, um, and they're all different, which I think is really cool, so this one's 15 damage, this one's actually 31, I'm actually gonna take that, that's actually pretty good, um, and all of the other ones here, um, you know, it's, it's pretty cool stuff, so I'm gonna go to the head right now, I'm gonna, uh, fuse this, uh, let's select all of them. Oh my god, that actually goes up to plus 18. Uh, interesting. So I'm going to do that uh, just for the for the HP. And you can see I got this plus 18. This one's plus 20. I don't know if, the, if 20 is my max right now, uh, but it might be possible. You can even upgrade them. So I need multiple of them to upgrade. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you where I'm going to draw those, which is right over here. The gloves, for example. I like, to, I like the glove gameplay, actually, to be honest. How much money do I have? So I have 11k, so let's just draw a few here. Um, I actually love the fact that, um, you know, you, you, you have so much variety. You have the gloves, you have the sword, you have the pistol. I started out with a pistol, but since I have a ranged attack now, I don't necessarily need that. Went with the gloves. I think the gloves are fine, uh, but I haven't drawn any good ones out of this crate. It's really difficult uh, to get them out of this crate, but I can tell you this much. It's actually really fun. It's really cool that you actually have the possibility to, uh, to uh, choose between gloves, sword, and pistol. I think the ones that are going to be leading, unless you have like a really, really strong pistol because of range, range is obviously going to be better because you don't get hit. Um, but other than that, I think gloves might be the ones that do the most damage, maybe even sword. I'm not really sure yet but the gloves they have some pretty cool movement abilities as well um but like i said i'm gonna make a video on that on the in the in future videos this one's just basically for the hawkeye build i love hawkeye you know uh, i love anything connected to marvel even still still a fanboy after what's been released lately even now still a um yeah <laughs> anyways so, uh, good fan. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. I will make more videos that will have more information in it. Oh, and there we go. We actually have the possibility 
uh, to do some money here, the money dungeon, which I think is really cool. And um, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.